Right, what's going on, people? Wayne World Map here, and today we're gonna talk about uh, light workouts that I did. You know, after a two-week layoff, if you guys are gonna come off of a layoff, one thing that I always recommend is do not go hard right away. Okay, you're gonna risk injuring yourself, even if it's just for a week, two weeks. In my case, it was two weeks, so I kind of want to show you guys how I trained and what I did, how I modified my drills, how I modified my rounds. Let's get right into it. Okay. So to start it off, I did uh, two rounds of jumping rope for two minutes just to warm up. Again, it takes me around two sessions after a week or two of layoff to get back in, in you know, in my fighting. I wouldn't say fighting shape. It's just the the amount of time that it takes to to get your oxygen back and to get your gas tank back. It usually takes around one or two sessions, you know, to get back to it and to get used to the pace that you're going or that you're going at before you had that layoff, okay? And then after that, I did shadow boxing for three rounds of three minutes. As you can see here, one round is three minutes, and then in a round, there's three combination. I do each combo for for one minute, and then I have a certain number of reps that I wanna do in that one minute, okay? So for this one, it was a jab for one minute, double jab for one minute, and then one, one, two to the body for one minute, all right? So check it out, bam. All right, so what I did, by the way, with this one is I finished my whole workout and then I just filmed these videos uh, as a demonstration kind of thing. I did it for demonstration purposes, so I didn't go or this is not the footage from the actual workout. This is just the footage after the workout. OK, and this was meant for demonstration purposes only, like I said. So the workout was already done when I filmed this video. So here, double jab. OK, I did that for one minute. And then I did a one, one, two to the body for one minute. And then I rested. And then I did another set of three combos for the next round. And then same thing for the next round. The volume kind of ramps up as the rounds go on. All right, after that, I did this one. Okay, so here's how the round looks like. I did three rounds of heavy back. 50 seconds or 60 seconds was for freestyle. 50 seconds was for straights. And then 40 seconds was for punch pot punch outs i'm gonna show you guys how to do that later on but basically one thing about me and how i view the heavy bag i just use it for stamina okay if you want to develop your technique you want to develop your skill you want to develop your footwork there is to me there's nothing better than letter a the mitts or letter b shadow boxing okay for me the bag is just for power it's just for stamina it's just for shoulder endurance and that's why I don't really do a lot of uh, freestyle combos on the bag because most of them are unrealistic. The bag is just going to be there most of the time when I'm throwing my combos, I'm going in and out, I'm moving my feet. So I do most of my combos in shadow boxing. I don't do it on the bag, okay? So 60 seconds of freestyle, 50 seconds of straight, 40 seconds of uh, punch, pot punch outs. And then this is going to be a two and a half minute round for three rounds. So look at it. I'm here. Um, I'm not thrown with full power, like I said, because right now my left wrist is still not fully recovered. It's like 70% recovered, 30% still injured. Okay, so I'm not throwing my my hooks with my palms up, and I'm not throwing it with full power right here. I'm just throwing straights again, 40 seconds for that, and then I'm throwing these uh, pot punch outs. I'm throwing two punches with one hand and then one power hook with the other. Okay, so one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, and this is how that looks like. Okay, next drill is going to be. Let's see what I do next. Next one is going to be a double end bag. I did this for two rounds of two minutes. And how do I view the double end bag? I see the double end bag as a toy. Okay, um, if you want to develop your head movement, to me. I think sparring is the best way to do that. Um, the double end bag definitely helps with your rhythm and stuff, but when it comes down to defending punches and moving your head against, you know, punches that are coming at you, nothing beats sparring, all right? So that's what I recommend. Um, I just look at the double end bag and the speed bag as a toy. I don't even do too much speed bag. I look at it as toys. I look at it as, you know, fun equipment that you can use in a gym. And I look at it as some, uh, equipments that are not really necessary, but it's good to have fun with it. Okay, and that's what I'm doing here I'm just having fun with this double limb bag two minute rounds and I did this for uh, Two rounds, okay Next up I went on the uppercut bag and then and then I did uh, slip counters one minute inside slip one minute outside slip 
and uh, basically what I did here was I did two outside slip combos outside slip uppercut into a left hook and then outside slip right hand into a left uppercut I did that each for one minute so it's a two minute round then I rested I did another two minutes of inside slips okay so inside slip uppercut into a right hand inside slip left hook into a right uppercut so that's the combo that I threw and that's only two rounds okay next up I did neck curls what I did here was that because there was no towel available at the time in order to reduce the amount of pressure that the plate has or the dumbbell has on my forehead I decided to put ankle weights okay the ankle weights are a little bit soft and so what I did was I put the ankle weights and then I layered the dumbbell and then that total to around 15 pounds the ankle weight is 5 pounds the dumbbell was 10 pounds and then I did a three sets of 50 it's important to do full reps on these don't cheat it okay and then i went on to five pound side curls again three sets of 50 per side and yeah i just kind of alternate right there no rest in between so after that i did stretching for seven minutes and um, i went from down to up started with the calf i went to the hamstring to the glutes to the psoas to the hip to the back to the spine and um, yeah, that's it. That's it for this workout. Very quick, uh, if you're coming off a layoff, one thing I always recommend, do not, do not go intense, okay? Your gas tank is gonna be back in like two to three sessions. Don't worry about it. It's not anything crazy. So don't think that, oh, I just came off of a layoff. I should go intensely now in order to make up for that lost time. No, your gas tank will be fine, okay? Just wait two to three sessions and gradually, uh, put the intensity back up okay do not do not go hard again after a long layoff so that was it my first workout after a two-week layoff due to a vacation and um, that's how i train today